what's up you guys welcome back to my channel there's gonna be a vacuum in the back of this video so you're just gonna have to deal with it so you may be wondering what's going on with my face well i was about to do a special effects look for my makeup instagram right here then i decided i should bring you guys along on this i should teach you guys how i do this sort of stuff because some of you might be into it some of you also might know this used to be a makeup channel and i used to do stuff like this until i decided i didn't, that's, I didn't want to do just that. So basically we're going to be doing a scratch on our face today. This is again for a collab on my makeup channel. So instead of bleeding normal colors, we're going to bleed blue and gold. Because I'm doing a Hogwarts collaboration on my makeup uh, Instagram. And I'm doing makeup for Ravenclaw right now. So just to start off, I'm going to tell you guys what I did here. Here, really all I did was lay down a dark red where I wanted my cut to be in my face. And so that's really all you have to do to start off. You can do it smaller, you can do it bigger, it doesn't matter. Um, just lay down a red. You can use a lighter red, but for some reason I always do like a darker red and then I go back in if I wanted like make it a little bit lighter, which probably isn't a great way to do things, but do whatever you feel comfortable with for starting off on. Uh, I'd like to note that I'm doing this look in cotton and latex, but you can also do it in scar wax, which is easily found at your local Halloween store. But really, I think the easiest method and the one that's available to most people is liquid latex, and cotton balls. So first I'm gonna roll out a couple of cotton balls. If you're more beginner, then you want to work in really small sections. Also, I am wearing a beanie today. That's just to keep my hair out of my face. This is merch from one of my favorite YouTubers who actually taught me basically everything I know about special effects today. So if you want to, go check her out. Her name is Glenn McGore and she's amazing. So I'm gonna break off a little piece about that big. If you are beginning, then I would probably go a little bit smaller. But what I'm doing here is just kind of ripping it in half. So I have two pieces out of that one piece. Now I'm taking a brush that I don't care about because latex will ruin your brushes forever. So just kind of coat your brush in latex, then lay it down on your face. Lay the latex a little further out than you think you may go because it's just better to be safe than sorry. Also, I forgot to mention, if you're working with latex, if it's not ammonia free, then be careful around your eyeballs because that can make your eyes water and please, please, please don't get it in your eye. Be very careful around your eyes. Um, if you do get it in your eye, I would suggest going to probably the hospital and again, just be very careful around your eyes and your nose because it will burn, your eyes will water. If you get it in your eye, then that's really bad. You'll know if there's ammonia in your latex because it will, sm you'll just be able to tell by the smell. You'll open it and it will just, basically it'll smell like a fish and a melted balloon had a baby. So now that you've done this, you can either continue to lay it down across the rest of your cut. So I'm gonna continue to do this on the rest of this side of my cut and then I'll show you what I'm doing. And obviously you can go on the other side right now, but I prefer to do this step first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little sponge that you have, dip it in the latex. Don't drip latex on your clothes because it will ruin your clothes forever. You're gonna saturate the cotton just enough so that it's not dripping, but it is covering the cotton and you can move it around. You'll see what I mean. So now I'm gonna take my spatula and smooth this into the edges before it dries and looks weird. And then build up the edges a little bit. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.
Okay, hey guys, sorry my camera died, so I had to do some of it um, off camera. Basically what I did is, uh, once the latex had dried, I took a brown contour powder that is too dark for me, so I used it for this. I put it over the latex, then I put my foundation that matches my skin on over that, because the brown just gives it more of like a... It helps it match your skin better, basically. Then I went back into the indented area and darkened that up again. So really, you didn't miss much. We're gonna continue now. So basically, for bruising, I would normally use like a textured sponge, like the one that looks like you pulled it out of the ocean. But just so it makes it easier for people, I'm just gonna use this. And normally, you would like pull like pieces of the sponge off, and that gives you kind of like a rough texture. But this one actually already, I don't know if you can see it, but it already has like some holes in it. So I'm just gonna use this for time because it just makes everything easier. So, but I'm just gonna kinda go in with some red cream and I wanna make it look more fresh than like older bruise because I want it to look like it's still bleeding. So I'm just gonna go in with some red because normally when you get a scratch, you don't really start bruising right away. It just looks red around the area. So I'm just gonna go in with some red and don't try and be super even with this because if you look at bruises, they're obviously not gonna be a perfect circle. Now I'm gonna go over the tips of the, um, the top of the scratch just to give it kind of like a highlight. I'm gonna go over it with my foundation. If you want to blend it out a little bit, just tap the area where you put the foundation. As I said, I want this to look like it's bleeding, but because it's Ravenclaw, we're not just gonna do normal blood. We're gonna do blue and gold blood. And I will insert how I made those right here. I apologize because I filmed them on my phone, so they are low quality, but check them out. So now that we have the scratch actually all built, we're gonna use some Ben Nye Scab Blood. If you don't have this, then you can find at your local Halloween store something called Bloody Scab. It works just as well, but I really like Ben Nye. Now I'm just gonna put this in the scratch and try not to get it like on the edges too much. <laughs> So normally I would have gone a little bit in, I would have gone in a little bit more with scab blood, but I'm actually gonna take some out because this is obviously red looking and we're going for a blue and gold look. So first things first, I'm gonna take my blue blood mixture and then take some on my spatula and fill her in. So now for the last thing we're gonna go in, we're gonna put some golden pus, just kind of like on the edges and by the blood, you know? And bam guys, there you go. That's basically the finished look. Here you have a nice little gnarly cut. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. That's zooming out. There you have it. Now obviously you can switch out the blue and the gold for um, red blood and yellow pus. Or you can do this and be freaking cool. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it at all. Or you want to see more makeup videos. That way I know you guys want to see it. Remember to comment down below what you want to see me do next. Especially for the month of October. Because it's going to be freaking spoopy, you guys. We're even going to try to go to an abandoned place. And if you haven't subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Go click the subscribe button and turn on my notifications so you can see what I have coming up next. Have you clicked the subscribe button yet? No? You haven't? 
Okay, fine, whatever. You're just gonna miss out on a bunch of awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Y'all are gonna think I'm really weird, but like this fake pus smells so good. It smells like mint. Don't judge me.